Hello there everybody. So I was just going to sleep for a second uh, and I saw this. Welcome to C Sharp 9. And I just thought, why wouldn't I make a video about this? So C Sharp 9 has been released just a second ago. I mean, a few hours ago maybe, 2 or 1. And it contains a very very interesting update. So first of all, they have added something called uh, init right here. So if you don't initialize let's say you have class like this person and if you don't initialize it uh, it will throw an error so they added like this anything uh, instead of get and set and uh, yes so they have now records and something I'm not sure what is this alright so the most interesting one is this let me just uh, scroll past these maybe we'll talk about them for, for a little so they added something called data uh, no it's not data yeah, data. So if you if you put data before class, it will automatically add uh, public and get in it instead of you writing them. So you just try the you just write some few lines, yeah, just like this, and it will. Oh, sorry, I over yes like this. So you just try this line, and it will automatically make it look like this. And there has been some interesting changes. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of, all of them. Uh, the most interesting one is this top level programs so this is a very interesting update so you have the, your usual hello world application but you have your new hello world application this is literally python with semicolons I can't say this enough but I really appreciate this update this is amazing this is really good I'm not sure who will use this a lot but it's a feature, you don't have to, like, it's a feature, it's, uh, it's added, you don't, like, it's not what you asked for, but anyway, it's, it's good, I guess. And you have some, some other um, updates, right, like, uh, improved, uh, sorry, like, improved if, and, uh, if statements, like this, uh, yeah, and so much more. So if you want to read about this, you just go to devblog.microsoft. I'm gonna maybe drop the link in the description. And yeah, see you later. I just wanted to do this because it was interesting. See you later. And don't forget, just try this out. I think it's very cool. And it's, it's, it really started to resemble Python a lot. And it makes me fear a bit because why resemble Python? I personally do not enjoy Python that much. But anyway, you have your opinions. You have your opinions. Alright, subscribe for more of this because I'm gonna do a lot of these. See you later.